Now for a player interview, let's go down to the field. We're powered by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Visit a Toyota dealer or toyota.com to learn more. We make it easy. Kurt Sandoval with Rob Havenstein. Yeah, big Rob, veteran offensive lineman. You guys had the joint practices with the Raiders, and certainly with such a young offensive line, what did you think was the most valuable thing there in those two days? Uh, I mean, it's, it's always good to go and see a, a new defense and new defensive players and a, a new style of defense and how people hit blocks. We're very, our defense is very specific how they hit blocks, and you see that. It's really good to get a fresh, fresh opponent, kind of see where you are, see how your different techniques work with uh, the, the way different defenses are in the league. So I thought all that's great. It was, it was really good work from uh, from our young guys and everyone in the room. You're a former Wisconsin Bucky Badger kind of guy. Logan Bruss also there. Logan's coming back from that injury. He rolls his ankle. I saw his back. I saw you ran there, but. He told me, both him and Steve said, you lead by example. What are you trying to teach these guys both on and off the field? Uh, just everything that was taught to me when I was a young player. You know, I was lucky enough to have guys like an Andrew Whitworth, a John Sullivan, a Roger Saffold, guys to kind of show me the path. And like nothing that I'm telling these guys or showing these guys is my own. It's all stuff I've stolen from them that has worked. And um, so I'm just. Whatever worked for me, I'm trying to present that in a way that I think they could they can take it and understand it and uh, kind of make it their own. Well, you're certainly doing something right. You were healthy all of last year, one of the few guys. Now, Big Wits up in the booth. He's your former teammate. Uh, do, would you like, since you evaluate players, would you like to evaluate any of his broadcasting in his young career? Well, with uh, with Big Wet, I can't be too cr critical of Big Wet. I mean, that man walks on water when it comes to left tackles and. Uh, <laughs> From what I've seen, he's doing a heck of a job up there in the booth, and obviously he knows what he's talking about. 16 years experience, that's the stuff you can't buy. So he knows what he's talking about when he's talking about it, and he knows what to look for on film, and I think it really shows. And I mean, he speaks well. He's, he's, he's an eloquent speaker, and uh, I think he's doing a great job. Rob, we appreciate it. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, Rob Havenstein, I agree. Big Wit, you're a first ballot Hall of Famer, and for people that don't know, Boy, the biggest heart for uh, charity in this Los Angeles area in Louisiana. So back to you guys upstairs. With Ram COO Kevin Demoff in the booth. Kevin, I know seeing uh, Mike down there, you know, we talk a lot about how young the players are and, and how many young guys are joining this team and new guys are on it. But you know what, in the coaching staff, there's been a lot of change as well. What have you really observed there? Just some new energy, multiple position kind of changes or coaches different this year than last year on both sides of the football. It's been amazing to see, especially on the offensive side, to see the guys gel so quickly. Mike LaFleur coming in, Ron Gordon running backs, Nick Haley at tight ends, Ryan Wendell at offensive line. I love the fact Ryan Wondell never wears shoes around the facility. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, it is a great group. They, they've really found a gel, and I think they've pushed Sean. And I think you know it as well. Sean thrives off new energy, new ideas. I think this offensive staff has really brought that to him, and he seems in a much more comfortable place with the group that he's got right now, giving him day-to-day -day help. You tell me that guy with that beard doesn't wear shoes? Of I'm course stuck. he doesn't. He probably doesn't shower either based off that beard. No, I'm kidding. Done. Uh, but, yeah. I think that's one of the things I, I compared, you know, the first preseason game. I said to me, this might be the closest thing for Sean to 2017, just because not just the players are new, but the coaches and getting to know them all and everybody getting a feel for each other. It's almost like this new excitement of getting to know each other in a new relationship and with the players and the coaches, and you can kind of feel that positive energy. Keelan Cole to the one, Raiders run to the line here, and a flag is thrown. You know, last year I come in the booth, and I think Houston had like a 20 play drive. I'm never doing this again. This is like the Listen, Sean had his positive moment finally. Just stick in there. Stick with us. Dalton Wagner with that long hair, the man that the Raiders have uh, taken a calling big country at right tackle. Going to need like uh, a 99 yard penalty. pick six. I like it. I'll Do drop, you want that? Uh, call the pick six. I'll, right I'll now. drop an S bomb if that happens. There we go. <laughs> I love we'll it. Be, well, I'll join Just Sean. Sean, and Sean. Sean right. McVay had the hot mic there, but hey, he hey. was excited for the Passion, Jake Hummel pick six. Let's see what we get. First and goal, they back up to the six. No pick six here. Damian Williams carry. Right then to go back to your point, Wag, there is an energy in the building similar to 2017. You know, 2017, we jump on the scene, you come, Robert comes, new coaching staff, we jump out of the gate. And then we were perennial Super Bowl contenders every year, and that that stressed the offseason. I'm not saying this team, I think this team has a legitimate shot to compete if right. we can stay healthy. 
but there is a lesser expectation, I would say, outside the building, not inside the building, outside the building. And I think that's allowed the group to really gel, to use that as an energy, yep. as a chip. And you feel that for the first time. You couldn't say in 2019, 2020, 2021, people don't believe us. I think that, that is a rallying cry this year. That 2017 team made the playoffs, obviously lost to the Falcons at the Coliseum. Here's Tucker brought down. Nice tackle there by Quindell Johnson, one of those young DBs. And, and to your point about Sean, you, you do feel that energy. feels like he's coaching the players and kind of coaching his new staff as well. And you have moments like this. Uh, a guy like Quindell Johnson, who, who was playing at the Rose Bowl a couple of months ago in the NFL PA game, now playing here at SoFi, trying to make a name for himself and make the way. And I think you want to see those flash moments from these players, right? That's the fun part that you talk about is a Quindell Johnson coming in at Quindon Lake making plays. Third and goal, let's see if they can get off the field here. From the two and a half, Aiden O'Connell has time back to the end zone. Wilkerson, he's got the touchdown. O'Connell had all kinds of time. And he found the veteran Wilkerson on the end. No pick six. Sorry. Hey, uh, Kevin, I'm sorry. We, we tried for you. We put out the good energy. It just didn't happen. Here, Thomas was the closest to O'Connell. Got the right foot down, dragged the left foot with yeah, Jones behind him. Make sure that right toe's in. Over the head of Jaden Woodby, yep. the linebacker. He's that in. right toe is in. And the Raiders added the lead to make it 33 to 17 with Daniel Carlson out for the point after. Kevin Demoff, we always appreciate your time. I, I don't appreciate it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not I mean, coming we're, back. We're not coming back. I don't think it matters. The, our audience may be happy with that, but we suck when I'm in the booth. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> Send us you know. less next week. How about that? Thank Why you, not? Kevin. See 9.43 remains. Now for the player interview powered by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Visit a Toyota dealer or Toyota.com to learn more. We make it easy. Down to the side by Kurt Sandoval. Look who you got, Aaron Donald. Hey, nine-time Pro Bowler Aaron Donald. All right, we saw you dressed. Were you going to play? Were you trying to convince him? No, I was just, you know, warming up, you know, getting back into the groove of things. I ain't did it in a while, so it was just good to get out there. Had a pads on and so far again, so. So, for a guy who doesn't play in the preseason, having those joint practices against the Raiders, two more next week against the Broncos, describe what that does for you in the help of your development for the regular season. I'm just going against different people. Obviously, practice is still practice. Um, you try to do as much as you can. You can never emulate a game until you play a game, but you try it as much as you can and just going as it, going going against different guys, um, different techniques and things. You get to work on different things. So, Aaron, when you came to training camp, you talked to us about, yeah, it is a little different, but I'm going to get ready. What's it been like now getting the likes of a Bobby Brown ready and, and helping these guys during the preseason? Um, just the grind. Obviously, uh, um, a lot of young guys that's stepping up big um, from where they was at the beginning of camp to where we're at now. See a big improvement. Um, obviously, uh, we ain't there yet, but but I see, you know, something to get excited about, you know, uh, coming to work with these guys, seeing where they're at now, um, the comfortability that they got out there. So. Um, but you got to keep working. My last thing is, in my time knowing you in about seven years, I've never known you not to have incredible high motivation. But it seems even higher this year when you start to hear some of the outside people saying, oh, they're not going to do much. Am I reading that right? Yeah, you, we all need some type of fire lit under us. Um, so, you know, you, you just want to do your job, obviously. You're just going to go out there and play. But, um, you know, it's a little chip on your shoulder. You know, you, you start from the ground again. Now you're trying to build this way back up. So um, it's a challenge that I'm really I'm ready for. So Aaron, we appreciate your time. Have a great year, man. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Aaron Donald, you know, when you think about it, guys, he was drafted in the 2014 draft 13th overall. That means 12 other people were picked before him. I can't figure that out, guys. <laughs> back to you upstairs. <laughs>